All right, guys, we're so excited. We're about to uh, talk to the people from Nourish and Bloom here. We're located at 300 Trilla Parkway, Suite 250 here in Fayetteville, Georgia. Go on, let's go in and check it out. Welcome everybody to the Speak Your Life Podcast. My name is Andre, I'm your host. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, whether you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you watch your podcast or listen to your podcast. And especially if you're on YouTube, we want you to hit the subscribe button because a lot of times people watch the podcast, they see, they enjoy the conversation, but they forget to hit the big red subscription button. So we want you to be one of those people that joins the Speak Your Life family. And so you're part of everything that we have going on. So today's special guest, are uh, doing amazing things and uh, making history. They, they've been making history since they started this place that we're in right now. And it's called Nourish and Bloom. You see, this is the very first black owned, fully automated grocery store, not just in America, but in the world. So give it up for Jalea and Jamie Hemmings. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show, welcome to the show. That's awesome. So are you all ready to speak your life? Absolutely. Yes, all right, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the very first question we'd like to ask, um, you know, in the podcast is like, so uh, there's the two most important things that we know in life is the day we knew we were born and the day we knew why. So I know you guys are here together, but you've all had your own unique journeys as to how you kind of you know, hit the dots and got to this point in life. So starting with you, Julia, like, you don't have to give us like birthday or anything like that. Nobody's looking at your social security number. But like, just like, what was the era? What was going on during the culture? What things were popular? I don't know, some cool TV shows. And then like, you know, through college and all that stuff that led to here in this moment. When I was born? <laughs> <laughs> you can give us that too. Right? <laughs> like, like, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, you know, where you're from, I mean, all that stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was part of the 90s culture. So, the know, 90s like, culture, yeah. Different world. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And then that caused me to HBCU. Okay, so, so, okay, yeah. So that was, you know, my vibe um, yeah. to now. Um, I never thought I would see myself living in Atlanta, but, you yeah. know, it's kind of COVID really, and pre-COVID, I started to mm-hmm. understand the value of family after we had kids and, you know, just getting back to having that support system. So that's what led us here. Yeah. And so, you know, it's been an amazing from COVID yeah. perspective yeah. just seeing the level of support. You yeah. Know? And so I think right now everyone is just tuned into what the future has and I think, yeah. you know, COVID gave everyone a chance to like explore and have breaks and, yeah. Yeah. you know, be ready for yeah. the future yeah. and be excited yeah. about life, you know, so yeah. it's just, now we saw what it was like to, unfortunately, lose a lot of people and mm-hmm. now it's like every day you have to value, so yeah. that's yeah. where we are in the present. And, uh, and what about you, sir? Yeah, so... I, I grew up in White Plains, New York. Okay. Yeah. And so for me, it was, you know, humble beginnings, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I had access to, you know, the local bodega. Yeah. So, you know, they had quarter waters. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they had, you know, all types of like unhealthy, like, you know, little treats and things like that. Yeah. So wow. for me, it's, I grew up just differently. Mm-hmm. And so coming to a place like this and wanting to set up a health food store. Okay. It's like when you start looking at studies, right? Mm-hmm. They say that if you give people access to healthy food, mm-hmm. right, they'll take advantage of that. Yeah. And so the way that I grew up, mm-hmm. I never had access to healthy food. So I really couldn't take advantage of it. Yeah. And so coming around to this journey mm-hmm. and now having that chance and opportunity to be able to provide healthy food for people, mm-hmm. for me, that's really like my mission. Yeah. Right? And this is the reason why have the store. Wow. You know, it's all about, you know, real food and mm-hmm. real products for real people. Yeah. You know, we bring in products that have, you know, no high fructose corn syrup, mm-hmm. you know, making sure that there's not a lot of dyes, you know, things like that. When you come to the store, you don't see a whole bunch of like, you know, Twinkies and all yeah. that stuff, right? You don't see that. Here, yeah, yeah. Right? We try to bring in the, the healthier versions of certain things. Like, okay. yes, we have soda. Yeah. Right? But we have Mexican Right? Okay. So instead of using high fructose corn syrup, you know, it's using cane sugar. Oh, yeah. um, we have, you know, different versions of um, like, you know, Hershey chocolate, right? Mm-hmm. But we actually have organic Hershey chocolate. Wow. You know, so just little things like that. So just little small changes, mm-hmm. you know, bring that to this store. It's something completely different on how I grew up. So wow. that's, that's that's where we're coming from. You know? That's really awesome. Yeah.
Yeah, because, you know, a lot of times people maybe know or they don't know that there's a lot of food deserts in the black communities. And so, you know, you guys are doing stuff to change that. And there's a lot of people that are coming behind and supporting your idea because I think it can revolutionize a lot of things that are happening in our community yeah. for the better. So um, it's, just, it's just making that change because yeah. the, the thing is, is that in, in our community, mm -hmm. it's all about education, right? Yeah. It's about education and access. And so for us, that is something that we want to provide. Yeah. It's just educating people about you know eating healthier yes. and just making it easier and providing that food technology. That's right. That's right. Providing and that's just really, that's really, that's really, really important. Like, who would have thought this was a food desert, right? So, yeah. you know, we always look at how you define it, but, it's, you know, we feel that we really have a way of combating the food desert challenge by just making sure that we're meeting the communities where they are and putting it yeah. in a comfortable distance to them and, you know, utilizing technology just to really, truly really increase that access. So, you know, it's a problem that can be solved. You know, for so long, I think people are like, oh, you know, it's just this big challenge. And I'm like, you yeah. know, to me, I see it as an easy problem to solve. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, we have a solution. It's just now working with the local and state governments to make it happen, right? Because yeah, right. they have the, their pillars of issues and things that they have to tackle. So mm -hmm. I'm like, if you have the resources, we have the solution. That's yeah. right. That's right. And if you have the passion, that makes it even yeah. easier to sustain and overcome the hurdles that will come, you know, through this industry and this business. Um, but, but really quickly, give us your own definition of what a food desert is, because people hear that term all the time, but may may not know exactly what that means. Yeah. So I mean, for for me, when we're looking at a food desert, mm. it's really about you know someone who has access to food within a two mile radius, right? And so, well, uh, yeah, two mile radius. So mm. if you don't have access uh, to food in the two mile radius, that's really a, a food desert, and that's really what their true definition of mm. a food desert really is. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right, really quickly, guys, when you come to Nourish and Bloom, you got to make sure you download their app. So you have to, you'll hit the Nourish and Bloom app, and there you'll find uh, the access to all their products, all their services, and things that they have here at the store. And if you could explain, like, the different – you have, like, the bistro. You have, like, oh, what are the different sure. things and the aspects of the store? So, for sure. So we really wanted to make sure that we made – eating healthy accessible for everyone right so when yes. you come into our store we have our grocery where you can get every single category of groceries are presented behind mm -hmm. these doors here and then we also have a bistro which is all about scratch cooking so we have breakfast we have an all-day menu mm -hmm. and we really put a lot of effort into making sure that the food is really good all of our meals are actually created by a james beard chef so like you know pretty impressive stuff and you know we've been the feedback has been amazing so you know they feel like it feels good they don't feel heavy or ugh, yeah. you know after you finish eating the food here and that's also reflected in all the products it's like we just wanted to make sure that everyone whenever they come in is able to get access to good food in a quick way okay cool and so uh and just to give an example uh, i'm gonna find a product that i like and i'm gonna pick it up and we're gonna walk through how you would actually go through and purchase a product here at nourish and bloom so this part of the store is not autonomous, right? Oh, okay, you can okay. actually do normal shopping. Normal shopping. So okay. what you can do is that you can, you know, pick up an item, and then you can still use your nourishing balloon app to scan. Oh, okay, okay. And then from there, you can go ahead, and then you can either scan the item right here. Okay. And then it should pop up on the screen. Or, now we're testing something. So this is our vision kiosk, right? Oh. So you can actually place the item right there. Okay. And then there's cameras that are looking at it. And oh, oh, oh that's okay. 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 That's okay. That's so okay. So they're they're testing it. So okay. normally what would happen is that you would just place the item right here. Okay. And there's cameras here, here. Here. And so it uses computer vision to oh. recognize the product and it'll actually bring it up on the screen. Wow. So it's something that we're currently testing. Okay. We probably just turned it off. Yeah. You know, they're always testing. Always testing. Okay. Yeah, that's good for constant improvement. That's what it's exactly. all about when it comes to technology. What you have now could be obsolete by tomorrow. So, there you go. There you yeah, go. yeah. So let's head on over to the beach yep. real quick. And yes, we have live customers, guys. It's a real store. So don't mind the, the people. They're just being people. Oh, oh, you're talking about me? Oh, yeah. so my favorite is actually the uh, salmon club. 
salmon club. So okay. I'll get the salmon club if I'm getting a sandwich, mm -hmm. or if I'm getting a salad, I'll get the um, the cob salad. Oh, okay. And I'll get the cob salad with either salmon or chicken. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, as, as customers, we got we, we got to the spot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are what oh, are some of your favorite items when you come here? What are, what is something that you order? Is there a typical thing that you get, or is like I don't know? This is my first time. First time. I'm, I'm, got a first I'm, from, I'm from Manhattan. So. Okay. We were maybe. All right, all right, all right. My yeah. friends are here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 not saying Westchester is, you know. Yes, yes. It's, it's not upstate. It's not upstate. It's upstate. No, it's definitely not upstate. That's right. That's right. Is this your first time too? Yes, but I'm the local. The local Brooklynite. This is where we're going to go. What are you ordering today? So I got the chicken club, the Godfather, because I'm a big guy. I eat two sandwiches. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, my, and my girlfriend got the uh, the one of the bowls. Bowls. Okay. Okay. So good. 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 She's you made some good choices. Okay. Yeah, that Godfather, <laughs> that's, that's our version of the cheesesteak. That's right. That's so, yeah. 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 It's, it's really good. You know, but, uh, that's my choice. It's just, yeah, it's right. just like it gives off that good vibe, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's awesome. Did you want to? Oh, you, you yeah. want to scan okay. first yeah. going down? Do you want to do it as a live customer, or I have the uh, store manager app where yeah. so you're not, you're not charging? For that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll do the store manager version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to feel like a one. manager today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So do it. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Okay, on my phone. Okay, cool. So I feel empowered now. <laughs> 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 so I think I feel like a vibration every time I pick up an item. Okay, so I'll explain how the uh, how the technology works. Okay. So when you scan to enter the store, okay, each person that scans to enter the store, they'll be given a basket ID number, mm. and that'll be placed on their person when they're walking throughout the store. Oh, okay. So we actually have 30 cameras on the ceiling, oh, and they well, track sure. your movement throughout the store. Okay. Now we also have weighted sensors on the shelves. Okay. So that any items that you pick up, wow. the system will know that you picked up that item. That's cool. Now if you pick the item up, mm. it'll place it into your virtual cart oh. in the background. Okay. Right? If you don't want the item, you place the item back. Okay. And it leaves your virtual cart. Oh. Okay. Now so let's just say you are basket one hundred when you enter the store. Mm -hmm. So you enter the store you mm -hmm. picked up bread. Local it bread. would say, mm -hmm. basket 100 picked up nature's own honey bread. All okay. right. So now when you walk out of the store, you'll be charged for that item. Okay. So you don't have to tap anything. You don't have to scan anything. Yeah. You literally just walk into the store, pick up an item, wow. walk out, you get charged, and okay. that's it. Oh, it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. It's not as complicated because like when you first think about it, like, oh, wow, well, it's automated store like it sounds like technological and yeah. advanced and complex but it's really not that bad oh yeah it's a very it's a very uh, very simple and easy process mm -hmm. and what we love about it is that it's like all age demographics right okay we have yeah. like little young kids that come in here and use the app mm -hmm. and we actually have you know the older population okay they actually want to use the technology right? really because you get a lot of questions about well what do, you, what do you think about the uh, older people coming in? Mm -hmm. They may not want to adapt to the technology. Okay. They actually want to use the technology. Really? We actually have a 70 year old lady. Yeah. She comes in here, she scans her phone, she okay. comes in, she picks up her items, oh, and she wow. leaves. So wow. if she can do it, if she can adapt to it, yeah. anybody can do it. You can do it too. Yep, no excuses. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to put this back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's how it works too. So if you don't want the yeah. item, you place it back on the shelf, and then what will happen is that in the background, it'll mm. leave your virtual cart. Oh, so mm -hmm. what happens if I have a child? No, hypothetically, because I don't have no child. But uh, <laughs> I hypothetically have a child, and they want to take some candy off the shelf. I'm like, no, little Johnny, you can't have the candy. And I put it back as the parent. What happens then? Okay. Do I get charged, or how does that work? Now, here's the thing. Okay. So if someone else picks up an item, mm -hmm. so for instance, if I pick up this item okay right i'm mm -hmm. the one who scanned in right yeah and then i give it to you okay then you're like no i don't want it and then you place it back okay when we walk out of the store i'll be charged for that item mm. because the system still thinks oh, 
I have the item. That's right. So anyone who comes into the store, whatever items you pick up, you would have to be the one to keep that item. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want it, you have to be the person to place it back on the shelf. Wow, wow, that's that's interesting. Yeah. Little Johnny. <laughs> Little Johnny. Little Johnny, put that back. This is our coffee machine. We're really excited about it. It does 200 coffees in 90 seconds or less. Wow. So you can pick any drink, whether it be hot or cold. And whatever you pick ends up in your digital cart so that when you walk out, in addition to anything else that you pick up in the store, you're able to pick up your drink as well. So mm -hmm. have that ability. Well, do you have a favorite drink on here? See, I am like a kid. Right? Okay. So I eat like a kid. Yeah. So you know, for me, it's like hot chocolate all the way. Oh I'm a yeah. Hot chocolate fan. Oh yeah. That's I right. <laughs> I love hot chocolate. Yeah, but I mean, you know, what's, what's your favorite drink? We can make you a drink. Uh, I'll go with hot chocolate. You go yeah. With hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Three years. So it's just you know, within ninety okay. seconds. You want any sugar? Uh, sure. I love sugar. You want any flavor? <laughs> uh, let's do uh, hazelnut. Yeah. Let's try hazelnut. Yeah. See, now you're not. You've been taking it from a, a kid drink. Too, yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm a kid in the candy shop right now. I was like, I want this one, that one, that one. That one. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool machine. Like Jalea said, um, mm. so so this uh, Costa Coffee machine, um, Costa Coffee is actually in the uh, United Kingdom. Yeah, that's and right. And so this is the, their version of Starbucks, pretty much. That's right. And so we're it's the smoother, though. I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 smoother. Mm -hmm. But we're the first grocery store to actually have their automated machine in the oh, United States. Wow. So they they gave us that gift. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. I was just in uh, London uh, the other day. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's test it out. All right. Okay. Wow. And it's not, I like how it's not too sugary too because, there you, go. you know, I think that's <laughs> one of the problems that we have in America. <laughs> too much sugar. Yeah, so, right. mm. And that's why it's good that you're able to yeah. control how much sugar you actually yeah. want in it. Oh, yeah. So that's the other thing too. Because I think she only put, what, one, one sugar in it. So okay, I think yes. you can go up to like four. Oh you wow! Have, you have the ability to, you know. Yeah, you can adjust it. So yeah, I I usually uh, in most cases I probably would get probably four sugars, but <laughs> you're on this, camera. Yeah, I'm on camera. I gotta you know pretend like I'm on a diet. You know. <laughs> mm. well, no, but it's good though. <laughs> That's good. I like how it's smooth. It has a rich flavor. Um, it's not like too thick. It's like just the right like texture. It's a smart barista. It's a smart barista. So. Mm -hmm. And again, you said 200 different types so of coffee. So you can make two, yeah, 200 like, different types of drinks. Yeah, wow. variations yeah. of like, you know, just look at the hot chocolate. You could have had all those different flavors. Those all add to different variations mm -hmm. that are possible. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. yeah. And then your cold, cold drinks. drinks. So you don't even have to have coffee. You can do like a strawberry, you know, lime, mm -hmm. different types of, uh, you know, flavors that we have. So it's cool. I'm going to hand this back to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is really awesome. And uh, man, guys, like, I, and I did mention ask earlier. Um, so I, I heard that, you know, your son is one of the inspirations that you have for the store. Um, what, what's another ins like source of inspiration that you guys have from when you just thought of the idea, like from idea to like the concept to like creating it and brick and mortar and everything like that? I mean, for us, I mean, our son was our foundational inspiration, mm -hmm. but all of our kids also, because, you know, we want all of our kids to eat well, but then we said, you know, one of the things that Jamie and I do is that whenever we find something that works for us, we always want to share it with the world, yeah. right? Like, we don't like to keep it to ourselves. We don't want to be selfish with that. And so yeah. when we came here and found ourselves <clears throat> in this food desert, we already knew we had to create a solution for ourselves, right? Yeah. And so we were in the middle of the pandemic, and we have a background in food and tech, and I was just like, you mm -hmm. know what, if we're going to do this, let's do this for the future. Let's yeah. kind of be... Yeah. one of the pioneers of what this could be and show that technology is not something you have to be afraid of, right? Because mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, mm -hmm. have, they feel that, you know, this is taking away jobs mm -hmm. and all these different yeah. things. And I'm like, it's not taking away jobs. We're actually training you for jobs in the future. Like yeah. how wow. best than to have a neighborhood market right in your neighborhood where mm -hmm. you can learn about AI and robotics. Forget about, you know, a lot of people don't have the opportunity to go yeah. to a tech college That's pretty cool. and get that level, of, you know, of training, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to be like, kind of job you know they're going to be eight not aged out but like they're skilled out yeah you know based on where technology is going because it's everywhere right yeah. it's not going mm -hmm. backwards it's going forward so we said you know what this is an amazing way to teach kids about stem and tech mm -hmm. and get them excited about it to help those that have been in this space for a really long time that work and might be stockers or working in the bistro whatever they do 
Yo. And that cashier. And Lights, please. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> the magic. Of that. That's technology, baby. Technology, That's technology. Right. <laughs> 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 you just clap. You got to say lights. You just clap and like, yeah, lights. Oh, excuse me. Right. Snap my fingers. That's, that's next. <laughs> yeah, that's the next step. Yeah, next I was step. gonna ask you what's your next step of the technolo technological lights. advancements here. Start saying it, lights. <laughs> <laughs> but only y'all's two voices will work. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. Right. Me as a customer, like lights, exactly. it wouldn't even work. <laughs> Like, turn the lights yeah, on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My light will be dying. Yeah. yeah. Right. I just, but I just wanted to just add yeah. just one thing. Right? Yes, sir. So when we we're talking about inspiration, mm -hmm. so the pandemic, mm -hmm. it just killed, destroyed the retail business. Yeah. Um, there's so many things that are happening where there's not enough staff. Um, you know, grocery stores, you know, retailers, they're not able to get supplies. Yeah. And so some type of change had to happen. So mm -hmm. for us, when mm -hmm. we're looking at this, we're saying to ourselves, okay, we came up with this concept during the pandemic. Okay. Of all things. Yeah. Right. And no one was coming outside. No one wanted to touch anything. Mm -hmm. So when Jalea and I came up with this concept, we said, okay, well, Come into this community, yes, they need a grocery store, mm -hmm. but not just a traditional grocery store. Yeah. We need something that can hold up through this post-pandemic era that we're living in. Okay. okay. So coming up with this concept of mm. having people not wait in line, just yeah. coming in, they don't have to touch anything except for the products, mm. they walk in, walk out, yeah. right? Now, let's say a pandemic hits. Okay. Okay, so we're a grocery store, we're an yeah. essential business, okay. we can be open. Yes. But let's say our staff gets sick. <clears throat> this can operate on its own. Oh, okay. So yeah. these are like the inspirations that we're thinking about down the line because yeah. you never know when another pandemic will hit. Mm. And so mm. people, but people still need food. People That's still true. need groceries. So we'll be here for them. Right. Okay. But it's, just mm -hmm. it's not taking their job. They have more people here. That we, we would have had with the traditional grocery store oh, yeah. before. And yeah. that's what makes us unique, right? <clears throat> so you have other businesses out there that have the same type of concept. Yeah. But what makes us very unique mm -hmm. is that our customer service is on point. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that when people come into this store, mm -hmm. they have like this warm feeling. Yeah. They come in, someone says hi to them, they introduce them to the technology. I mean, yeah. when you come in here, it seems like a huge pantry. Yeah. And a lot of people, that's what they say. They're like, hey, this seems like, you know, like my pantry at home. Yeah. And you have all these healthy products there. Okay. And so for us, we just want you to feel comfortable when you enter the store. Yeah. And that's the type of warm feeling that you get, mm. not cold and harsh like other places. Warm like this hot chocolate. There you, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to go there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, I, and I, I know I kind of skipped over a little bit earlier, but. You know, your son, you know, you know, he, he is he's autistic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us a little bit more about that because you know, there are other people who are like who may have there are other parents out there who who have aut autistic child and they may they're like, How do I get started with a business? Like, you know, there's so many challenges, like I have so many setbacks, but you guys didn't see that as a setback, you just saw it as like, Hey, I can you you know, He's a, he's a great, you know, inspiration, inspiration yeah. really. Yeah, so. I mean, he's our driving force. Because yeah. Because when you think about children with autism, right? When he, when he was first diagnosed, mm. the level of resources were not appropriate then. Yeah. And they're still yeah. not appropriate now. They're a little bit better, right? But when a child turns 18, what happens to them? Yeah. Right? As like, for me, you know, as, as all parents do, we have goals for our kids. And just because he has autism doesn't mean that there's not a million things that he can do, exactly. right? Exactly. But we also want to make sure that because of his autism that he's not taken advantage of and that mm -hmm. he's always provided for yeah. and mm -hmm. so you know for us every day even you know when jamie started this interview saying i'm at a six I'm tired right? yeah he's that's tired. right that's right that's six. okay yeah. he's that's at, okay he's, to be a six. he's at a six right yeah. but at the end of the day you mm -hmm. know when we're like dog tired yep. it's mm -hmm. because of him and we think that's about the fact that we have to provide for him even when we're no longer here yep. right? right so we're trying to create a legacy not only just for him but for all of our children mm -hmm. so that's what drives us but yeah. you know i believe that he's our gift and everything that we've done in entrepreneurship has been stemmed from trying to find support for him mm -hmm. and then in finding that support saying you know we don't want to keep this again to ourselves let's yeah. you know yeah. let's help others so you know he's really like i feel like you know everyone's gift you know and oh, he's, yeah. so I mean, he's, he's our driving force he's our, he's driving our you yeah. know backbone with this whole entire thing yeah. because you mm -hmm. know like Julia says like Leah, yes you know i said i'm tired and yeah. you know 
I'm at a six. But here's the thing, though. Yeah. It's all for him. Yeah. Right. You know? And yes, yeah, I, I have three children. But mm-hmm. when you look at someone who has a disability, mm-hmm. you want to make sure that he is set up properly. Yeah. So when oh, yeah. we, you know, go on and we, you know, leave this, you know. I'm living forever. I'm yeah. Living forever. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could. But, yeah. You know, yeah. Once, once we're able to, you know, mm. pass this on to him, yeah. it'll make us just feel comfortable. Yeah. And it's really, it's it's for all of them. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Even the legacy overall, what we're able to do and provide the communities all around the country is like. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's beyond us. You know, it started, oh, yeah. it, it started with is, us, but this is way beyond us. It's, it's for like the we, culture. It's yeah, it's for the culture. culture. Yeah, it's, it's for the culture. We're making sure that everyone has access to good food. Yeah. It's for inspiring yeah. black children that want to be, you know, inspired by tech, like what we have with our foundation. Mm-hmm. We do STEM camps and, yeah. you know, helping those that are in the grocery space get retrained for jobs of the future wow. through being a part of our foundation and just making sure that, you know, just because you live in an area like how Jamie grew up doesn't mean mm-hmm. that, you know, because your means are not the same as maybe somebody that lives where we are right now, that you should be denied access to good food. Yep. So helping to offset those costs so that they can get the same, you know, Uncle Max orange juice, but at a price point that they can afford and that it's subsidized yeah. because it needs to be, right? So that it's a level playing field. So mm-hmm. we're all about that. So yeah. what, was, what was the orange juice back in the day in New York? Tampico. 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, Pico. Pico. <laughs> we won't be telling that. Why not? It will not be here. Why not? That's not juice. Oh, is that juice? <laughs> <laughs> that is oh, called that processed. Is juice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Water I, think, I think quarter waters were better than that. They, they got the real organic <laughs> orange juice. The Uncle Matt's. Uncle, Uncle Matt's. Matt, yep. Yeah. So it's the organic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Try to bring real juice in here. But speaking of, uh, you know, legacy, family, um, you know, your last name is Hemmings. I was thinking of, like, Sally Hemmings. Is there any connection? No. Or? I'm, okay, so I was talking okay. to my dad about it. Okay. And he was like, oh, yes, I think we are related to <laughs> okay. Sally Hemmings. Oh, reach, Listen, I'm trying to get some of that, you know, reaching, Jefferson money. Reaching, the Jefferson money. I'm trying to get some of that. <laughs> now, there's a, there's a Hemmings in Jamaica that's a track star. He's related to her. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. His we'll family's so. Caribbean. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Hey, you never know, man. You never know. You You might have to do a DNA test. (laughs) Listen, listen, listen. Those Hemmings people, trust me. Yeah. Sally Hemmings, I'm going to try to collect a check. Don't worry about that. That's right. Well, hey, I'm married into it. Can I get one, too? Yeah, that's right. (laughs) First, you got to believe that it's true. Right, right, right. That's right. right, right. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Now, it's, it's funny, you know, and I bring that because I actually had, in season one, I actually had a descendant of Heming, of, of Sally Hemings mm-hmm. on my show. Um, he was he lived in New York, too. I mean, hey, 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 hey brother, like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he pulled, thing cousin. He pulled the receipts and everything. He pulled the, the paperwork. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah it's real. It is, yeah, y'all can look at it, uh, season one, uh, episode 18, so. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. But uh, it was that's that's really that's really cool. Regardless of you know uh, you being connected to the, the Hemings, we're all connected yeah. to we're Africa all, right. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. So exactly. <laughs> that's where the roots are. Yeah. But um, I wanted to bring it back to the to the front real quick. Uh-huh. Um, and then we wanted to close it out nicely for you all. We want you to see the outside and see the beautiful scenery around the area as well. So we'll we'll walk around that way. Very last question. We have the question of the day, y'all. And uh, it's, you know, we live in Fayetteville, which is now, it's not, well, we live in the South, where everybody says y'all, so we call it Yollywood. Yollywood. You know, it's for the Trilla Studios, you know, they shoot Avengers, they shoot the Guardians of the Galaxy. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther, that's right. Black Panther, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, has there been anybody like that you've seen on the movies that have walked through or anything oh, like that? Yeah. Um, I mean, Dave, that, uh, Dave Baptista. Baptista, okay. His, uh, his assistant came through. Okay. Kurt, Kurt Franklin. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Franklin. Uh, oh, well. There's a lot of people. Luda Chris. Luda Chris. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Luda. Yeah. <laughs> Luda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who else came through? Uh, who else came through? Yeah. There are a lot of people that There's a lot of people yeah. they come by. Yeah, you know, like they, yeah, they, 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 they just trying to stay low key. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you, solid system. Wow. Yeah. Solid. Wow. Yeah, solid. It's, it's good to meet people when they're like, you see them on TV, but they're also pretty cool too. Yeah. You know, that's also, that's also. Yeah. But um, anyways, 
Uh, thank you again for your time. I really appreciate you all. It's, it was a great uh, time to be here with you all at Nourish and Bloom. Uh, guys, make sure you follow them on Instagram. At TikTok. TikTok, that's right. I, I can't forget about TikTok now. <laughs> Facebook, Download Instagram, the TikTok. App. <laughs> 300, that's right. Truly Parkway, Suite 250. 250. 250. That's right. That's Fayetteville, right. Georgia. That's right. 30214. Please come on down. down. They'll be having more locations near you, so look out for that. So, yes. anyways, uh, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Again, like whether you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, especially if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We're peacing out. Have a good one. We, uh, we concluded the podcast, but we would get a customer experience uh, review by uh, my friend Henry here, all the way from Guatemala. Henry, tell us about your experience and what you felt like and like walking through everything. Okay, so I care about how it was. Uh, how do you purchase inside the store? So I was just curious on how to do it. So I downloaded the app, came inside the store, and grabbed things and um, whatever I wanted. And then it was it felt weird, man. It felt like almost like it's like as if I wasn't stealing. <laughs> then you know what? As soon as I closed that door, I got my receipt on my phone. So. Yeah, that's right. He's, he has it on his phone, so don't. You know, it, it, he said it, it felt like he stole something, but he didn't because that's what you know when you're in a fully automated store. It's, it's not a regular store, it's not a regular experience, it's a new high-tech experience, so it's gonna feel different. But, I mean, here you are, you got your chips, and they, you know, they're not, you know, they're healthy, like, what is this, Good Chris? I've never even heard of this company, but it's like healthier food, healthier snacks. That's what impressed me the most, <laughs> yeah, it was all healthy food, and, mm -hmm. you know, just high-quality products. Healthy food that tastes good, too, because you get all that healthy food. It don't taste good at all. So, anyways, man, thank you again. Man, y'all make sure y'all download the app. And, uh, yeah, just get your chips done. <laughs> don't worry. Just take it off uh, the uh, the cart. Take it off the, the shelf. But you're going to pay for it after all. Your, your credit card's connected to it. You ain't, you ain't taking this, you know, from the store. So, anyways, peace and out, y'all. Y'all have a good one. We got coffee from London that make you feel like you went to room. No more virtual. We got robots delivering to your room. All the way live from Nourish and Bloom. Come check it out. 300 Chillip Parkway, Suite 250, all the way in Fayetteville, Georgia, baby.